This is our CPM files. Uh, most likely we just uh, do the same thing. Let's take a look um, before we can continue. Let's take a look upgrading process. Upgrade. CPM before upgrading. Compatibility. We need to stop the CPM services. Backup, of course. PVWA, we did that. Enable secure channel between CPM and PVWA. Enable TLS 1.2. PVWA is configured to communicate with secure channel on the CPM machine. You need to trust PVWA SSL certificates. So we didn't. Using a CA certificate from using self signed certificate and hoping that should be fine. We can try one thing to confirm that, which is called PVWA. We can try to change the password at admin one. We can try to do connect with did that. No, uh, return dash admin one. So we can do verify. And we can see if it's communicating. It was fine before, I assume it should be fine too. So you don't have to import, let's say, sign certificate since we don't have that. Okay, it's verified that it's communicating. So we are good at this moment. Let's give it a try run as administrator. Uh, before that, we have to stop the service. This is vault address and vault it means password. Next. Okay, completed. So system has been upgraded. PVWA and uh, CPM both have been upgraded to 11 to 5. Uh, this is going to be my first time to log in right now. I logged in with my Cyberhawk built-in administrator account. Let's see if I can retrieve all my account here. Both looks fine. Let's look at the, my system health. PSM is not connecting. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm sensing the PSM service is not up yet. Let's take a look. I haven't upgraded PSM, but uh, um, PSM is compatible with 11 to 5. You don't have to upgrade it.
the service is not up. Okay, let's come back. And all looks good so far. Um, testing, right? Uh, okay, v10 admin one. Let's see the password. We verify July 27. We have this password. Um, we cannot do connect. We cannot do remote connection to one of my server. And then we cannot do change a password, verify password, make sure all functional. Log into the PSM and the PSM gonna launch a session to my target remote server. It may take a little bit of time. Okay, you have been recorded. So PSM session started. We are connecting to the remote site. Okay, uh, the password has been changed on. Actually, we can do this conciliation and uh, try the function there. Okay, I have a reconcile account set up already. Let's do reconciliation for this account. I want to check some platform. Unix platform here. And I'm wondering if there's any new platform has been imported. You know, web app. So far, it looks okay. You can see it. Perfect. To connect. Perfect. So it's logged in. The password has been changed. CPM is working. Um, we also can try one more thing. It's a new platform. I would like to try one SSH account. Add it. Change it to one minute, so our lab can be much faster in this way. Add account, Unix account, save, address. I'm gonna use one of my cloud server. Your let's check account. So here's option. So should we use sudo on reconcile? Well, I think yes. So this is new option in old version. They don't have these settings there. But anyway. Enable yes, add authorization, okay. Connect. Let's look at the plant phone settings. To fix this issue is usually simple. Um, CMD 
Rally test administrator. You need to IS reset. Refresh again. Let's look at the platform. PSM server, subnet policy, recording. Oh, looks okay. Connection component, PSM SSH is enabled. I don't see any issues here. Say OK. Let's go back to account view. OK, looks good. Thank you.